Benjamin Nketia here. The farm is in the studio. Daniel Kranting is here. Susu Graham. Nathan Kwao. And of course, the rabbi. I need the rabbi to pray for his own team. To deliver them from the obsession of an unproven Brazilian winger. It has become an obsession. I need him to also spare some prayers for Jürgen Klopp. Because this is getting out of hand. And then Ghana's team, or the Black Galaxies as they are known these days, they take on Nigeria over the weekend. It's a two-legged affair. First game is at Cape Coast. It's match week four in the Premier League. Chelsea versus Leicester is our big game. So we'll be talking about that as well. But Rabbi, you know we can't start without you. Yo, wa. Wakogbe le yache. Waka wan dabo shiye. Eja kengmene suwa ni masuwa na masuwa. Yo, wa. Wabe eko. Nwa ba le waba. Waka waba e. Gama mufen. Ke gana ma mufen. Bo watu e. Efye efye di. Yake be eche. Ni ne tan kwa o. Kran ten. Inke ti a so so ke mi denche. Waba no ba fin wakbe ya mi. Ni wa yu anu kwa le ni yo sports mi. Ake. Wabi ye. Black Dallas be ye. Waka anago. Waka anago e ko e. Yo wa wong pa bu fa yo. Be nou wo fe le. In se be le mi ye. Nyama wo hi ye. Nou ane ame ya jodi. Ao yo din klop. Yo wa. Inke hane tole fe be ne tole. Hane tole fe be ne tole. Liverpool bi hane toa me fe be ne toa me. Yo wa wong ke tane toa me. Ame ye ngon mo bi hane wo e she wo no. Why shall we know? Man, you. Anthony, I has been a you a honey bull about me. Mean profile. Honey bull about me. Honey bull about me. When the 90, I mean, I'm a come here 90. Any of it, I will. She know what she commit to a lot of shake be. You know, let me walk a player. I want to know. Walk a leg be no more. 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 Frankie Dion. On yen yolo, on kwe li mi bi ba che, on le ake chine, on yen wo yen kome tuwe le, on yen shwe shi koko wo kon. Ene me ke ni bi pi, mo bi o ebo yen, nye mo yen yen su ba me. Amen. Amen. Charlie, I've just seen some name. Hey, Charlie. I've been so from Spintex. I've been so say what? Say what again? Guys, me, I'm not happy with Liverpool, and that's why I'm starting off today. Why are you not happy with Liverpool? <laughs> Why? Oh, you have not seen the table. Big they're, shout. They're, low, they're below Bournemouth. Big shout to the people at Plus 233 Jazz Bar and Grill for, for an excellent outing and an excellent road show. The ambience was nice. I mean, coaches type of leaders were out and about. <laughs> look, look, I really have to apologize to the, to the people of Plus 233. And all those who came there and coach wasn't around, I had a very pressing issue mm -hmm. that I needed to attend to. But they shouldn't worry. All those little we'll, that look, showed themselves. We will be there again before the season. Definitely. I can tell you. I can because tell you. That more, I was told. I can leave anybody. Like, top, top notch. You mean top notch? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Let's let's get to the cracks of the matter. I see <clears throat> the Jaden Sancho drag back, the weight, the composure. Hold on, hold on, Nathan. Hold on, hold on. It's it's been playing in my mind all week, all literally all week. Like you should have seen his face when they go in. It's, it's been playing in my mind <laughs> all week, and you see, it's not something that should have happened, but a few things have gone downhill at Liverpool when they need to be addressed. Jürgen Klopp is at the heart of Liverpool's too close or so close but yet so far finishes in the Premier League. And I'll tell you why. Now, Liverpool, obviously, this season have endured their worst start to a Premier League season ever in history. Ever. It's never happened before. Why is this happening now? Go back to that first game against Fulham, right? 
and look at the emotional selections that were done in that game. The first thing you realize is missing from Liverpool this season is the Jürgen Klopp identity, which is the Jürgen pressing. Now, the reason why Jürgen pressing was such an intimate, revered system was because of Roberto Firmino. Roberto Firmino's ability to nick the ball off forwards or to press up the field in the final third, strip opponents and distribute play or orchestrate an attack by himself to get a goal or an assist was literally unprecedented. And that's why even when he played games where he wasn't scoring, excuses were made for him about why he was one of the best footballers to walk the planet because it didn't matter if he was scoring or not. Now, guess what? Jürgen Preston is missing from Liverpool's game this season. In fact, teams are pressing Liverpool this season. Between Fulham, first 25 minutes United, and Crystal Palace, teams are actually forcing Liverpool to... Teams are playing Liverpool's game against them. That's the irony. And Jürgen Klopp doesn't think there's a problem with it. Now, I talk about emotional selections. In the first game, what is Phillips doing in the starting 11 ahead of Joe Gomez? I feel that ever since Joe Gomez picked up his ACL, Liverpool have not treated him well at all. Mm. They've not treated him well at all. He, he literally was one of the best young defenders in the country or even in the world before he picked up that injury. One of the fastest centre-backs you can get out there. The moment he picked up his injury, it's been periphery performances, it's been periphery appearances for him. The club have not treated him well at all. Jürgen Klopp picks Phillips over Joe Gomez. I think that's a big statement for Liverpool. Now, look at that game against United. Let me just zone into that game. He says, or the Liverpool insiders say that Fabinho is off color and was lacking fitness somewhat. A half fit Fabinho, a half or bad form Fabinho is still better than an informed Jordan Henderson. And Henderson <laughs> has been bad from at least the second half of last season. But Jürgen Klopp picks him every single time. Every single time he picks him. Darwin Nunez. He didn't play the United game. But just to double back on the point I'm making about emotional selections. Uh -huh. Darwin Nunez has a beast performance against Manchester City. And then by some stroke of genius, Jürgen Klopp decides that it's a Premier League debut. So you are shy or you are not ready. What no, Nathan? What is the logic behind not starting Darwin Nunez? I, I, that? I understand, especially after his impact after at Manchester City. Let me just put that aside. Let me just put that aside. Now come back to the United game. Why is Firmino starting that game? Look, there were points where I thought he was a defensive midfielder, but there was no other there was strikers. Nobody. Who could have there were no players Liverpool on the bench. Liverpool did not have anybody striker. to play Jota in that was game. Jota was out. You don't have to play with a striker if you don't if if it's not necessary. You don't have to because, like I'm saying, look, Firmino's point. You know, his, I'll, his, I'll disagree mm -hmm, with you on mm -hmm, Firmino. Mm -hmm. I think Firmino, mm -hmm. his positioning mm -hmm. reflects more on what the midfield is doing. The worse the midfield is mm -hmm. at moving the ball forward, the mm -hmm. deeper he drops. Yes. And you will agree which with me fine. that the mm -hmm. midfield was very poor, which yeah. is why Firmino was so mm -hmm. deep. And in fact, I even saw a stat that Firmino yeah. had his game with the most touches in the middle third in that man new game. Imagine. His whole time at United. Yeah. So that should tell you that it was the midfield that yeah. was the right. That I don't think it didn't have any... It didn't have Nathan. any... There was no guile. Yeah. There Nathan. was nothing. I said somebody, I, I some, somebody, somebody made the point that, look, I, it stuck with me the whole time. It's 2022. Elliot, Milner and Henderson cannot be starting in a top top but notch Premier League Liverpool game. Liverpool were down Nathan. to the bare bones. If they are going by, let's be so fair. Why are you playing, playing Fabinho? Yeah, Fabinho, 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 Fabinho was half fit. But when he came on, he was the best midfielder. I'm surprised. And that's what I'm saying. That okay. Look, let me tell you something about football. You are better off with your intelligent players on the pitch for 50 minutes than with your fit players on the pitch for 120 minutes. I'm telling you. Because in that 50 minutes on the pitch, the intelligence will manifest in a goal some way, somehow. Okay. That, okay. Is the, that is honestly the... You put your best foot forward in games. And Jürgen Klopp has not done that for Liverpool. They ask him about signing players to augment this team. And he says that Liverpool will not be cowed or bullied into buying players. With all due respect, Jürgen Klopp, 
you brought Naby Keita. Naby Keita has been more injured. He's been more familiar with his physio friends than with his teammates. <laughs> you brought Alex Oxley Chamberlain. I don't even want to go. As for him, him, him I don't even want to I go there. agree with. You brought Thiago Alcantara. And as much as I love Thiago Alcantara, he's been nothing but a luxury signing for Liverpool. Thiago uh, can't play. He can't play five continuous games for Liverpool. That, that is on, but that it comes, is on part now. I get your point. You see, no, let, let me just okay, finish. Let me just finish. He can't... So you cannot tell the whole world that you are the only genius who sees that this team can get water out of stone. With all due respect, there are certain things that I don't need to have a license A or a license D to see. These things are glaring. Elliot, Elliot, a 19-year-old Harvey Elliot was your best player in midfield against Manchester United. I mean, come on. You want to win a title. You see, these are in top-level football. The margins are so fine that quality cancels out quality. It's not about your coaching sometimes. You need to go out there and buy players. Okay. It's not your elite coaching that will outwit you against a Fulham or a Palace. Because Patrick Vieira is quite brilliant a coach himself. He probably has been studying your blueprints. So he's quite brilliant himself. Go out there and buy players. Okay, so, I don't get what okay, Liverpool so, so where, so, so, have, Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. So Liverpool should buy what? And somebody... They need to buy the at, least two, at least two minutes. At, two mid, two mid at least one mm -hmm. as cover for, for Thiago Alcantara. Can't even be covered. Should be a main if because Thiago is, is a luxury. Thiago is barely around. Okay, and then so they need to, to, they need to buy a midfielder who is available for at least 90% of the season. And then the and, other and Especially in that conductor role. So, like I'm saying, look, it's, the season is not lost. It's very salvageable. But in elite football, these are the things that will make Manchester City win the league with one point. Because you were messing around picking players you shouldn't have been picking. And you were messing around not buying players. You are telling everybody that you are, we are looking at Elliot, Milner, and Henderson lead your midfield. And you are telling everybody that you don't need to buy players. Ah, Charlie, let's not do this. <laughs> and, you know, I, <laughs> want, to, I want to just even go into what you about the pressing. The reason Liverpool even looks so suspect defensively is if you are playing such a high line and your mm -hmm. press is not effective, the ball will just move. It will just be at your goal every single time. And I, I was listening to a podcast this morning. I heard a start that Liverpool's final third possession regains are the lowest in the league. Mm -hmm. So by the stars, they're the worst pressing yeah, team they in don't the league. Press and this well. is their signature. And you have your centre-backs on the halfway line and you're not pressing. Mm -hmm. They'll kill you. Mm -hmm. And speaking of centre-backs, we have to talk about Virgil van Dijk if we are being very honest. No, I'm going to go, I'm going to, go to him. Let me just finish. Let me just finish on this. So, again, just, just to conclude on Klopp, I think he's the main problem at Liverpool. Because, look, he's, he's won so much. And he's done so much for he's Liverpool. Done, he's done, he's done, done so much. No, he's won so much for Liverpool in the final year. If, I'm not even talking about trophies. No, but if he's won the league. He's, he's won the league. He's won the Champions League. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you see, Liverpool he's fans were... Oh, he's just won so much. Hold on. Hold on. Liverpool, so fans, Liverpool fans were so starved of, of victories that Klopp's era has put him above reproach at Liverpool. And that's what I'm saying. Look, he makes these mistakes and everybody else shakes his head and say, let the manager go. Look, these things are the things that have cost him a title in the last two seasons. These emotional decisions, relying on James Milner. Nathan, if I asked you what <laughs> Milner's favorite or what his best attribute is as a player, what will you tell me? He works hard. Fitness. Fitness, he's fit. That, and, that's that's what, and that's the logic I'm making. If I have an intelligent player who can give me 60 minutes in a football game, I will take him over an industrious player I mean, for 120 no, minutes. No, but, and also, but in the case the of Milner, Milner, bit, the Milner his age bit. has... Uh, has also I think Milner is an, an intelligent footballer. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not even suggesting that. I'm just saying that, you see, the subtlety, you shouldn't, point, you shouldn't the be depending on Milner in 2022. See, so, Milner won't make Manchester City's bench. You see, let's be honest. Let him go for free. I, let's be I honest. Back, I go back to, there was this game, and I don't know if you guys remember, there was this one-all game that happened at Old Trafford between Man United and Liverpool. Mm -hmm. The one that uh, Lyanna equalised. Who yeah, 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 remembers yeah, yeah. that In the game? dying minute, I Good. do. I now, mean. that game was turned round because Klopp looked at his bench and he pulled off, he brought on Naby yes. to conduct the orchestra for him. And it worked. On Monday night, I thought, because I think if Liverpool had more, look, even if Liverpool had Naby mm -hmm. things probably could have been different. But I understand the Fabinho bit. And I think when you look at Liverpool's play, for Fabinho to have been the first change was it was it the first change Liverpool? He really he really yeah. was. Was yeah. it Daniel who was yeah. the first change? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. For him to be the first change Liverpool made was an admission on the night from club that I got that starting eleven wrong. I don't think H hands, so. that, that's how, I mean I could be wrong, but that's how I see. It. Hindsight is twenty twenty, but again you also have to be fair to club. Look at the injury list he has on his hands. There's no Thiago. 
there are still lots of dark clouds over Nabi Keita because the inside story you know, also have to be said to you. Do you realize what happened in the game? Uh, club, hold on. To be fair. The, hold on. No, there Nabi. are people who got, there were times where my United we could list no, 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 Cavani, I'm, 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 I'm just saying that. I'm just saying I'm just speaking from the other side and said that. Of course, you can make the, the arguments about injuries and I think it's a fair argument. Yeah. Do I agree with you that Klopp makes these emotional decisions? Every manager makes the emotional decision. Where I feel, and what I hold Klopp... I don't think Pep Guardiola makes I'm emotional coming, decisions. I, I, I feel Klopp is guilty of... You know, we say Liverpool were rebuilt, but I think that Monday night's episode probably should remind Klopp that the rebuild has to be done maybe at a quicker pace. Hmm. Because the difference between Thiago and Fabio Cavalio is so wide. Fabio Cavalio yeah, changed no, that game when he came. You, you get, and they, they are no similar players. Uh. He's more, I feel like Fabio, Fabio Cavalli, is more of a 10. His, that his of future is in the front three. That's how I see it. You see, when he came into that game, it's not, it's no miracle that when, when Fabio yes, and, and Fabio Cavalio turned up, started to change. things changed for Liverpool. Yes. Chance creation for me was the most but obvious you know the funny thing is, point. I said mm-hmm. something about Henderson one day with fans on our Premier League that mm-hmm. for the big games, mm-hmm. Henderson shouldn't play. Or he should only play in the big games because of the intensity. Like a lot of the time, the ball yeah. dies at his feet. I remember someone Please. attacked me in the if text. Henderson is Henderson playing, should be if, if Henderson is playing in a big game, he is playing as the guy next to the conductor. He's not supposed to be your conductor. Henderson was or, conducting or, or the he's, game. Or he's covering for trends. Everything was sideways, left, backs, everything. Everything. Nothing was progressive. But, the moment Fabinho let's came let's, into the game, let, let's Liverpool put, started let's creating chances. Let us put it chances. on record that for banter sake, it was Henderson's poor control that ultimately led to it, the second goal. See? Because he couldn't trap a pass. The ball was taken See? away. Look. And <laughs> let as, as for the Fabinho thing, I don't agree. Because the guy was fit enough to play 30, 35 minutes. You can't start him um, in a, in, an, at a time where you have... Was he of, injured? Yes, he wasn't fit. He wasn't fit. That's you have it. Thiago out injured. You have Naby Keita out injured. Trent Air as a Trent. I always call him that. The guy with the hyphenated name. He's been out of football. Oxley Chamber. Ox- 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 Look, he, he's never ever fit. But this is the point where you need to manage your best players. Mm-hmm. And for Fabinho not to be fit, I don't think it would have made sense for Klopp to start him and risk mm-hmm. him getting injured when they are, there's a long stretch of games. And you understand how important this period is. We are playing this weekend. Yeah, there's a new game week starting on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Then we go on the weekend again. Then there's Champions League. Then it will be like that. Playing, yeah, it will be, be like, like that. that till November. And then he will lose most of his players also to the World Cup. So managing the players was, was very important. I don't think Klopp doesn't know he's supposed to buy players. And I think Liverpool has been in this situation before. If you understand the way they go about their transfers, I think it's more, more on their, their transfer committee. <laughs> stubbornness. I, I yeah. honestly don't think this is Klopp. Because if you remember... And he's doing a good PR job for, yes. it, for FSG. And, 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 and look, he usually does it until he gets tired. If you remember the saga that surrounded the Thiago Alcantara deal, he kept on denying the fact that Liverpool needed a midfielder. He kept on doing over and over and over again until the rumors started circulating about Thiago Alcantara. Then he started being a bit open with the media. I think we've seen Klopp do this thing quite a number of times. And you can understand sometimes when managers tend to come into the um, the media space and play down some of these things. Klopp is not stupid. If he looks at this midfield, he knows that he needs yeah, reinforcement. Yeah, yeah. He knows that Thiago is not a man going to carry him the whole season because of his age, because of his injury issues. Nabi Keita, biggest waste of money I've seen in the Premier League. 52 million. <laughs> and he was in that, Complete. that economy. He was one of the most the, the most expensive players at the time. He was when he was in Germany, he wasn't that injury prone. You see, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the that's funny that's thing about that. Everybody not. knows that when you play, you are an excellent player. Yeah. But what use are you if you are never on the pitch? Even when he plays, he's very inconsistent. Because you don't, you don't out really, of 10 or 8 out Because of you don't even have any time to build any rhythm. And for me, you see, on on that side, I feel a bit sorry for Klopp. But then again, um, look, Charlie, let's not do this. We are in 2022 thing. I saw Milner, Curtis Jones, and Co. beat Man United, United last season. Five nil. United is not I the saw, standard to measure. I, ourselves. No, look, I saw Curtis and, Jones and I'll be and fair, Milner no, was see, the best p- best midfielder against Milan. We have seen Curtis Jones and Milner and Henderson go around and boss Premier League games. We've seen it before. If it's not working now. Can't come and stand and start shouting that because you don't have a midfield that you can't cool. compete. What are you talking about? We've Let, seen them do it before. How many? No, how many had a good game? Hold on, hold on. But how many teams will those players start for? 
No, you see, no, but I, look, and, I and what they are refusing to but understand is that you have to if, if between had him, better options, he would have filled no, them now. in between seasons. And this is where changes. the issue is. A lot changes. Look, look, okay, finish. You finish. I feel Liverpool are, and you see, the pressing thing. Yes, it used to be their their identity, but I feel they are changing their their style a bit, and it even goes goes down to the sort of profile of players they are buying. If you lose somebody like Mane, and you go and buy. Darwin Nunez, you are not necessarily telling me you are you are going to stick with your it, things will change. Look, you things are they change. are slowly changing. Maybe they are going to. And in fact, it started from uh, two seasons ago when they bought in Thiago Alcantara. If you look at the profile of midfielders Liverpool were buying before Thiago came, these it was very different. Guys, high energy, it was very different. Players. You look at Vinaldo, you look at Henderson. These are guys with energy who will press and win the ball back. Then they bring in somebody like Thiago to come and spice things up. Now Darwin Nunez has come. We saw him when he came on against Fulham. We saw the long ball being used yeah. more often. I Yes, everybody has their identity. But there comes a time where you are you start to be figured out and then you have to start changing things a bit. So I think Liverpool, are, they, are, they are in a transition. And I think it will take time. That's why personally for me, I don't think they'll, they'll finish second. Yes, they'll finish in the top four. But I feel they'll, they'll struggle a bit this season. What if... if Look, if you don't, if they don't get some one or two quality signs mm-hmm. before the transfer window ends, which we know they won't, um, I don't. And see that's them. what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I, don't, I don't see them. Finish. Listen, Nathan. Daniel makes a point about Curtis Jones and he- listen, 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 <laughs> listen. Curtis Jones played in and out minutes for Liverpool. Curtis Jones is not the finished product as a player. Jordan Henderson, we know his limitations. Look, Liverpool have won games. If you go look at Liverpool's win shares, Susu Graham, I, I would indulge you if you would indulge me. Liverpool win over 85 or 90 percent of their games when Fabinho is starting as the orchestrator, and that's I mean, it. The, no. the orchestrator is the most remember, important person in that midfield. You remember I said something uh-huh. on scorecard. Uh-huh. I said I expect Liverpool to win, but if they show up with the midfield, uh-huh. the Used against Crystal Palace, there's no way they are winning the game. You remember yes. I said that? I mean, look, look at that. Baby. Yes, Jones, Henderson, Milner. Milner, they were used to beat my United 5 0 last season. Okay. But in that game, but not that game, not be played. Not be played. Yes, is that clear? Yes. Not be played. And United, <laughs> they were not being properly coached, though. No more on the team, ne? <laughs> Everybody moving, running by heart. Yeah. No pattern, no game plan. But you could clearly see that on Monday, let's not... Yes, Liverpool didn't show, but this is the Liverpool team. Whether you like it or not, give credit to where credit is due. That is where I'm coming from. Because the desire, the determination, the appetite, the attitude, the spirit... Everything United brought to the party. And for the fact that they had lost their first two games, mm-hmm. and this was against their biggest rival, and it was again at Old Trafford, mm-hmm. and looking at what the supporters had yeah. done that day, everything demonstrating that against the Glazers that enough is enough, leave our team, go. There was no other way than the players to respond the way they did. Look at Martinez. The player that even shocked me was Malaysia. He played as if this is a game he's used to play in. Yep. And the level of commitment, there were times where Mohamed Salah did him all. But look at his recovery. In that game, in 90 minutes, Salah went past Malaysia twice. On those two occasions, the boy recovered and came and met Salah again and then prevented the cross from going in. What Liverpool should be looking at going forward is simple. Do they need to buy midfielders? Yes, of course they do. Because it is clear that if Thiago's replacement is going to be Milner, then there's a big problem. No, not necessarily. If Fabinho's replacement is going to be Henderson every time. You see, I, 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 I don't want to he's the one. Henderson because he's the one. At times. They play together. Mm-hmm. It's been Fabinho, Thiago, and Henderson. At least in that Champions League final, these were the uh, pair yeah. that started. These three guys started True. that Champions League final. So I look at Jorgen Klopp said, that's okay, 
if he's, if he's going to his typical yeah. 4 3 3, these, these three guys are his preferred uh, uh, midfield pair. Yeah. So, but if the demand, you know, I've always told you, Nketiah, yeah. the demands of this season mm -hmm. is going to require that thing, teams will do things differently. Yeah. If Keta is injury prone, Thiago injury prone, Fabinho himself having started the season a bit well, a bit of injury yeah. situation. Then clearly there has to be a back. For the Elliot boy, he's so young, his performances will not be that stable. It will be very undulating until he's able to get to the level where you would have said, okay, now he's experienced the situations better over and over again so he can bring some form of stability to whatever he does. So Jorgen Klopp, if he really wants to challenge, we all thought, me personally, if you look at that team, I say, come on, this, is, this should be the team. Squad should, depth. Squad that should depth. push Man City down to the wire. I don't expect Chelsea. I don't expect my United. I don't expect Spurs. Yeah. Neither do I expect Ch uh, Arsenal to push Man City. It should be Liverpool. And Liverpool is going to behave the way they are behaving. <laughs> then I'm afraid Man City will walk <laughs> that, away that, so that, early. Yeah, yeah. So early with the league title. Hmm. I'm hopeful that something will happen from the red side of Manchester with the coming in of Anthony and their guys <laughs> and things will be better. Anthony. You understand? No, but we've taken the money to them. They've, they've rejected. It doesn't mean we are not going to go back. We'll go back. Eventually, Wakaleb Agbena. Dion Wakaleb Agbena. If these two guys come and can you imagine a midfield of Casemiro, mm -hmm. Dion, Eriksen, with we Anthony on the right, coach. and we then this one, everything is going to be better. Yeah, we're not going to imagine. What? No, but, no, but you can choose not to imagine. I'm already imagining. Do I know what United <laughs> is capable of doing Everybody in the transfer window? Everybody can understand. Imagine. Because, look, I know Let's also imagine. Ask now have Lewandowski. They have are they going after Lewandowski? Hey, they're not going. Imagine. No, their imagination I'm referring to are players United are indeed what? Chelsea. The boy is not coming. So it could happen. The boy is not coming. Is Anthony not coming? He's not coming. No. He'll come. Let me take what are you talking about? Let me take Susubi after you want to make a point. Yeah, I was, before, you know, I was to be honest, I'm not happy with Virgil van Dijk. I think he's an excellent defender, but the last few games, he's not really been up to At least it. half a season. Yeah, no, but I'm, let's talk about the last mm. few games because... The Palace game. Oh, the pal the Palace game. Fulham. I think Palace. Fulham game. Fulham and Palace United. And United. Let me okay. even start with the with the Fulham one. I mean, he got Mitrovic. He got Jubo. You know, everyone gets Jubo once in a while. Fair enough. But you know, it was just a bit clumsy for him. You know, every defender makes mistakes. It happens. Fine. But then you come to Crystal Palace. Zaha zooms past you. You run back. You are a bit close, but it's like you are not get. You have to get tight in that situation. What you have no other option. I mean, because you left him. Martin Var Aura. Brother. Before we even come to the United one, the United one was the worst thing. How can you stand there with your hands behind you? Okay. Okay. Give observing the situation. Oh, no, 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 something. No, 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 no. Listen, no, 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 no. listen, 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 listen to me. Give credit oh, where credit is due. That was bad. Listen to Bebole. They could have. 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 They could a culmination of several mistakes along the chain. Yes. That one is true, but we are saying that in that moment, if you had was a move, mistake from Tren. From he, didn't, Tren. He, didn't, he, didn't read, he didn't read the wall pass. Yes. And Elanga. So when the ball came, they all thought Jaden Sancho would go one time. They they said, go they they said, they they said, oh, no. <laughs> Let's not, finish on your point and then we talk about Chelsea and Leicester. Because you are right, a lot of poor think, but Van Dijk didn't seem to be faked. And he was doing, he had put his hand... He was observing. He was observing. He could have moved. I've watched that. You know the thing is, if he had moved closer and even tried to throw a leg, he could have done something. But more, but get moving closer. Coach, he was standing there. He was in... That is the chance. Coach, Alisson moved. Alisson reacted. The point is... No, no, reacted. They were all on the floor. They reacted and they were thrown to one side. And Van Dijk was standing still. Was not... I was not... Let me tell you. I was... You wait, let me just... I'm saying that. Okay, go ahead. Could it have been? I'm not making a excuse, but I'm just trying to. I'm putting myself in Van Dyke's position. The ball comes across. Sancho fakes everybody. Now Van Dyke can't see. I think if he knew that Alisson had, had all gone down, he probably would have probably because I'm sure in his mind Alisson is, is dead. Yeah, after why, the why, ball, why? probably we can create a thousand probably yeah. scenarios. You are a defender, you get paid. No, I'm just saying. I don't care about all the intricacies. Let, 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 let me finish. Look so, at so, so 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 so. So that happens. Of course, I agree with everybody here. Look, 
was six the years old. The, the goal ball. he conceded, the goal Liverpool conceded against Palace. I look, and I'm asking myself, but Van Dijk, why are you backing off Zaha? And what, what's your assumption? Like, why do you think your goalkeeper is get getting get your footing, get close, close down the space? And you know, I don't mind his way of defending because sometimes you have to deny space rather than yes, throw your body. So your it's body. not the style itself is not a problem. But sometimes you have to throw yourself. That ball, Rashford would have sported. Elanga would have sported. Not Jaden Sancho. Would have said, J- Jaden Sancho. Let me move it on to Chelsea versus Leicester. That's a big game this weekend. Wesley Fofana is at the center of it, even though he won't be playing. Um, Chelsea say that they are coming back. They've agreed a fee, according to the reports now. Well, how much are we talking about? Um, Something close to 80. 80. Because Leicester's stance, Mm -hmm. per what the, the last update was that they said they wanted something very close to what United paid for Maguire. Mm. So it looks like in about two, Rightly three so. seasons, Leicester are making big money of a defender. So that's some good news. Um, I don't look. I I I saw Chelsea last week against Leeds. They they looked very strange. <laughs> so toilette and sound. I they, I don't know what was going on, but they looked really really off.
the against is even where have uh, Haram has been done exist. They still stole from when he's been part of his history. Like they, they 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 have the ability to make things up. A typical Liverpool has the ability to make things up. Even when you look at us, if somebody tells you that Saka has this one in the season, you don't believe But he's literally just boosted the boots. If you rate him, yeah. him as part of the game plan, he's doing his job. But individually, he's not doing enough. Apart, apart from that crystal palace game. Want to start a business with one hundred dollars? So you need to have a plan. You need to figure out this. Even if you look at short and wide, hurricane and solar are missing the first one. We spoke for the next thing. Said this in the beginning, people came for him. Kovacic is sitting up for 20 minutes. And see, I'm a boat. We started this season. I said something about Kulibali. I gave him shout outs for the past three. He's done what? He's his first game. He's got his ugly debut. He's got red cash. He's out for three games. He'll come back. He's one of those players in Greek football. And I'm seeing Greek football because of his staff. I'm seeing it. Okay. He's very athletic. Very athletic. Based on speed and strength. He's going to the World Cup. He'll come back. Plan for these things, and Chelsea don't have enough strength to strength in there. And for me, honestly, when I look at their squad line, it's very bare. It's very bare. It doesn't put fear in anybody. Yep. And yes, they may be Leicester City because Leicester City are in a much worse situation. But as the season progresses, with Chelsea will try. That's it on the Premier League. So we'll be here tomorrow to serve you the Premier League. Let me read a few messages. This one here says, "Um, Friday without panorama is like election results without clean sheets." I think United is going to be Southampton. Um, there's a new breeze around, and definitely United uh, will bounce back. The Black Galaxy should take a commanding lead here before the second leg in order to make it a mere formality. Okay, wishing them the best of luck. How Bell from Ejumako. A Ben so from Sprintex says, for final to Chelsea is done. Uh, well, these days, like I always say, until you see the player holding the jersey. Oh, I'm a Galaxy Ben Omo. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm a Galaxy Ben Omo. I'm a Kenamu Ben Omo. Chelsea can for final Ben Omo. Let's see Lambert from Dodo. I say it's interesting how Ronaldo still wants to leave United because he wants to play Champions League. Man United should let him go. All we want now is Anthony. Okay, let me know. Kind regards, kind regards to Evers, Adjano, Obu, and Gabriel. But talking about Anthony, I'm reading all kinds of things. Yeah. Now it looks like he's gone public according to... Yeah. He's told them. He said, he said, I, ask that. He said, he said, he said I beg. The opportunity, you know, it will come only once my in my life. Don't stop. He says, he says the life, the life of a footballer is uncertain. They should so leave him. I have gotten go. a unique opportunity. Please ah. let me go. That's literally. It. I'll come back to that. This one here, um, I'll, I'll read a, a lot more of these messages. Um, a cat from Dan Soman says that um, going to the city sports. In fact, anytime Mendy makes an ugly mistake, Chelsea always end up on the losing side. Austin from Ashima says Klopp used Navigator, Henderson and Ketty Jones to beat us 5 0 last season. And we didn't hear Ben talk about Viva about it. Viva United. Well, um Zalix Dwayne in London says it's too early. This is the EPL, however, I know what Liverpool can do. Just trust the process and Liverpool. You see, trusting the process to finish one point behind Manchester City is a season gone down the drain. I don't know about you, but maybe it's it has shocked me. It has shocked me. We've gone past. No, I, it has shocked me. Trust which process. I'm surprised. We trust the process. Only, only by the process. The process, the the process, the process is happening in as you are going. Who is starting the process? I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. This one is from Sterling from Abokobi. He says, Hi guys, I'm always happy on Fridays because Panorama is on. Tell Coach I'm his biggest fan. Wish my darling Club City all the best this weekend. Okay. Nijan from Takrade. He says, good evening, Ben. My United now have in the middle of the park Casemiro, Fernandez, and Ericsson. Cafe. <laughs> 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 I don't even need about boys. <laughs> Farouk Headliner <laughs> says, my United will play Sociedad, Sharif Tiraspol, and Omonia Nicosia in the Europa League. Can't wait to watch Ronaldo um, scream <laughs> from Cyprus. For further income, and shout-outs to all workers at the passport office, Kemal Branch. Okay. Jude from Kakasuna says, haters are like uh, there are no easy games in the EPL, but anytime Arsenal wins a game, 
their position is deemed a weak side. As for Liverpool, they deserve lashes for conceding the goal that had a Martial assist and Rashford uh, goal combo in it. I mean, who does that? Not even Brighton and Brentford. Shame on them. Um, this one here, um, Fried Banku from La Paz. <laughs> Says your host is talking with pain. Relax, you haven't seen anything yet. Liverpool will be this season. They'll struggle. Prince Liam from Ashaiman um, says, I was amazed when Klopp took out um, strong Minos good handle and kept weak. Elliot was the best player in that match. I'm, 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 I'm not even sure what you're watching. This one says, uh, Ben, can you let coach elaborate about VVD style of defending? Because I saw former Liverpool player Karaga and also Milner complain about his style of defending after Liverpool lost to United. I think Van Dijk is overhyped. He's always afraid to throw in the challenge um, because he's afraid to get beaten. God bless you. Okay. Uh, I, th- I think I'll, I'll let Coach do that in a bit. But let's just talk about the UEFA Champions League now. The draw has been done. Tale, some people go play Thursday night football, but it'll be cool. <laughs> Let me go through the groups and then we'll dissect the groups real quick. So group A has Ajax, Liverpool, Napoli and Rangers. Group B has FC Porto, Atletico, um, Leverkusen and Club Bruges. Group C has Bayern Munich, Barcelona, Inter Milan and Victoria Pilsen. But how did they put that group together? Bayern Munich, Barcelona and Inter. Inter. It means one of yes, yes. So Inter, in, yes, Inter, 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 Inter. Yeah. Am I surprised they put Bayern and the Barca together? Yeah. Group B has Eintracht Frankfurt, Tottenham, Sporting, and Marseille. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you understand? See the group before you mention it. Yeah, and then they put together a group like this. No, but that's a, that's that's as as Mon- level Mon- a group as you, you get. You get all these Mon- 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 <laughs> group. Yeah. yeah. Group E has AC Milan, Chelsea, Salzburg, and. Dinamo Zagreb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Group F has Real Madrid, Leipzig, Shakhtar, and Celtic. Where's my Can we dream? Yeah, Karim the dream. Group G has Manchester City, Sevilla, Borussia Dortmund, and FC Copenhagen. Ellen Haaland goes back. So storyline D. So storyline D. Group H. Group H has PSG, Juventus, Benfica. And Maccabi Haifa. Daniel, let me start off with you on that one. Everybody in your adopted team is injured or unfit. You are the one who I've just spoken passionately about not planning seasons around unreliable players. Is Juventus winning this group? Can they even get out of this group? Because I think Benfica are a very tricky team to play. So Juventus don't qualify? I don't know. You tell me. Pogba is out for the foreseeable future. Di Maria is injured. Pogba is out for four years and they usually come back. Oh, the the current event is you've been watching. But what, even last season, we were worse than they are now. Who <laughs> qualified? Well, who go Benfica? Benfica or PSG? Maccabi Haifa. Yes, Maccabi Haifa. Okay, is it the Maccabi Haifa players have started asking Neymar and Messi for just ahead of time? Look, it's it, we all know PSG is top of the They've looked in scary form this season. Even after all the made my own ball penalty, no. Oh, I'm telling you. They will, oh, but now they've, they've made a big challenge. This is a scene of high five in China. This goal is all for cameras. In Mbappe is a sporting director. Until that changes, nothing will change. <laughs> it's all for cameras. We will see who is who at the World Cup. That's mm-hmm. really what we'll determine. The bosses will be separated from the, the small boys. But look, PSG is top of I think it's true for PSG is mm. top of the You will come in second. I'm very sure about that. Benfica, see you in the Europa League. Okay, let's talk about Group C. <laughs> let's talk about Group C. Is that Benfica will do it. Drop into the Europa League. Yeah. But they won't win it, though. I'm sure we all know that. They let's talk about Group C. Um, Bayern, Barca, Inter, and Victoria Pilsen. Oh, let's let's eliminate Victoria Pilsen just because we can. And just because they are a small team. Bayern, Barca, Inter. That's how it ends. Yeah. That's how it will end. Oh, yeah. Bayern, Barca, and Inter. Bayern, 18 points. You're not, you, you, you don't <laughs> rate the new look Barcelona? Really? So we so oh, even with Lewandowski so in the account, that, though, they, 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 they bought the your team. best player. Look, they are not going to. They, well, are they struggling? Have you seen them this season? But you, we all know that the Champions League Look, is Bayern's Bayern late monster. Bayern is a goal, man, goal machine. Whether Lewandowski is there or not, they will score. We are all seeing. I, I think if I should, this 
one now just one last year. I don't want someone standing here no, with me thinking about all these things. Because I mean, that, that, that the inside story that I know at a point he was telling the band jobs, you know, drop this, run around, try to oh, get to go and sit in the corner. Okay, and go and the to pass the ball to me and let me score the goal. <laughs> what is this? Run here, run there, run everywhere. <laughs> I, I, I didn't achieve what so, I achieved all the so, years running around. So it looks like Nagelsmann has the team he wants, a fluid forward line and all mm. of that. So, so yeah. Bayern, everybody agrees here that Bayern wins that group. Yeah, yeah, I think they Bayern win. wins the group. I think they win. No, uh, no, we have a simple question. Let me ask you a simple question. simple question. When was the last time you saw Inter in the knockout? Last season. Last season. Mm-hmm. Inter made the knockout. Yes. Yeah, they lost to Liverpool. Liverpool they even yeah. beat Liverpool at Anfield. Yeah. I wasn't that good still. No. no. I really? Yeah. One of That's the knockout round. That's the knockout round. Yeah. Knock 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 probably round. had Victoria closing and taking that. Yeah, I think it's a matter of, you know, it's a matter of position, to be honest with you. It is more than that. Do you see what's in any I think Inter is a big match. No. I think Simeone is a far better coach than Xavi. I think he has no. I don't know. I beg to differ. I'm not. No, 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 I beg to differ. I think Simeone Zaggi couldn't win that league title. Let's not do this. Because he couldn't win. Let's not do this. And it's the two who scored that. The two who scored that. He had, he had in the fact that his for team a proper with that amount of quality was that close to Milan, who had what? Junior, what was his name? Junior Messias. He's not Junior Messias. Junior, Messi. Junior Messi. Olivier Giroud, how old is he? No. Let's not do this. Go and finish your point. Yeah, so like I'm saying, I agree with Granting 100% that Inter Milan, in my view, would drop down to the Europa League because wow. of the quality of the opposition ahead of them. Look, this Barcelona team that Xavi has put together. They will need time to gel. Mm-hmm. If they were to gel very early, yeah. I want to see them against Bayern. Mm. I think them on away, that's going to be a deli- delicious game. Delicious. Spicy. Absolutely spicy. Oh, it's a li- and I want to give Bayern the edge over them because they've had a more <laughs> compact team. Mm. It's only Lewandowski that, in my view, has been lifted out of the team. Yeah. You said a spicy one would be a Kanku. Yeah, I think that would be the one. The, the spicy one was the one at Allianz. Even 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 the one at Allianz. It will be a competitive game. I think it will be very competitive. Honestly, I know they're going to be. I think it will be because I look, think. this Bayern Munich team too. Apart from the fact that they tend to beat everything in front of them in the Bundesliga, See, they do have weakness. They do have weakness when they come to Europe. Yeah. Which team knocked them out last season? It took a Villarreal team. To knock them a very defensive Villarreal No, but a, a very defensive Villarreal team that, that if you present to Barcelona and any other day, no matter how defensive they are, mean, that's how they will be dealt with. They will be dealt with quick. Without any delay. No, you see, if you look at this Barca team, and you look at the... They are in transition as well. No, they are in good transition. And the Gabi ball, the Pedro ball... You see, Barca was easy. Barca was balling. On their day, they were ball. On their day... They will equally match this Bayern Munich team. Yeah, but the reason why I'm giving Bayern the edge is because they, they are a group that has been together for a very, very long time. Yeah. So the chemistry is there. It's yeah. more like a machine. And Lewandowski left, yes, but they've mm-hmm. gone in and they've brought another excellent player that yeah. is in there and is making all the difference inside the mm-hmm. So yes, I'll give Bayern the edge. Mm. Then to top the group, yeah. Barcelona to finish. Let, let me just finish off with this before we do some transfers proper. Daniel, a storyline that I'm looking at is Kudus and Liverpool again. Now, in the wake of all the Anthony craze in the <laughs> last 24 hours, do you think that one Kudus will earn a place in this Ajax team? Even I'm not even saying full time, but even bigger minutes. And do you think that he possibly will impact the game? Because that's obviously the game that got him in there. He's emotional about that game. I know we are Ghanaians, mm-hmm. but let's calm down. Let's analyze this thing critically. Yeah. Without emotion. Okay. If you talk to the Ajax guys, the people mm-hmm. in the corner, yeah. they know everybody knows Kudus is a, is a fantastic player. The Ajax system creates opportunities. And I'm talking about chances. The way they play, chance. Yeah, yes, the way they play, their yeah. style of football, it will create chances. You don't need to be an exceptionally gifted attacker mm. to add to that system. You can be decent. And still excel. And still excel. 
the deficiencies they have are defensive. So they need their from the attacking players to defending players. You need to offer a certain level of defensive, defensive work rate. Yeah. Kudus doesn't give them that as compared to the rest of the guys on the pitch. If Kudus was playing in a team that struggles to create, mm-hmm. then they will need his extraordinary um, ability to create, you know, his dribbling ability, his passing. But if you look at Berghaus, who is playing at number 10, yeah. his work rate off the ball, his football intelligence. Yes, on the ball individually, if you are talking about who is gifted, who has the ability to carry the ball, go past players, Kudus is better. But when it comes to the football IQ, mm-hmm. the pass when you are supposed to pass, they don't pass when you are not supposed All to pass. All of this in relation to the system. In relation to the system, he suits better. <clears throat> Ghanaians will have a point if Ajax were playing games and they were struggling to win and Kudus was on the bench. They hmm. are winning 3 nil in the brave league. They are winning 5 nil in the brave league. Yeah. So your crying and your shouting is not going to change anything. Because the we are winning without like, him. They are winning with oh, system me here, Juma. Now, if you look at last week, and that's why I'm afraid for him, because if you look at last week, Anthony wasn't included in the squad. Mm-hmm. And what they still they didn't did, play. Exactly. What they did was to send Berghaus out wide. So Berghaus, the number 10, now played as a, a, a right winger. They went to a 4 3 3. They played Tajik, uh, Tajik, 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 Tajik yeah. as a false nine. And they brought in the. the he's a young. What's his name? Mm-hmm. Kenneth something. No, Kenneth, the Kenneth, Kenneth Taylor. He didn't even start. Kenneth, mm-hmm. Kenneth played in a, a deep role. Yeah. And I've, I've forgotten the name. I think they, they brought Brody to start rather. I think yeah, Brody played. And they, they, they dropped me as a team. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's, it's a bit scary for me because mm-hmm. even in the absence of, of, of Anthony, Anthony, they are still they not playing. Him, yes, a, 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 that, that's why I'm even making this point. It, it, so, it's very bad for him. Look, and, and where I sit, honestly, that's why last last week. If he can, if he can move, he, he needs to move. Because look, as for this revenge thing, I think do you not know the truth? <laughs> no, uh, no, no, I, I, that's why I was deliberately asking the you that. Do you even think you would get a look yeah, in? Look, I, I, I don't, I don't think he will get the opportunity because right. I would have been happy if I asked were struggling and then they would need, like, they would need to bring him in. But that's why I said his strength is his ability to create opportunities, and they are scoring five and six even without him. Sorry. So they don't necessarily need that that aspect of his game. He needs to work hard off the ball. And that's even something that we over here, Black Stars, we, mm-hmm. we sort of raise questions about him. He's off the ball, his work rate. When he doesn't have the ball, what does he do? Does he help the team enough when he doesn't have the ball? Yes or no? Not really. So that's an aspect of his game that he needs to work. Because as for the tricks, the flicks, the dribbling and things, they don't really need it in that team. You have Anthony who is doing that. And even Anthony, if you look at his raw numbers, no, <laughs> his, 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 his run numbers are not encouraging at yeah, all. Exactly. So, look, he needs Kudos needs to work on some things in mm-hmm. his game, and mm-hmm. I, I, I'm the first person who he needs to work on some things in his game because look, this Ajax system, Ajax sell their best players every season, yep. and there are boys in the academy who come in and replace them like they were never there. That's how good their their system is. Mm. So I don't think it is the right time to be sitting here and sulking about the fact that he's not playing. You identify why you are not you playing, play. yeah. and then you work hard to that regard. If you are not, if it's very clear that the guys ahead of you, you are the fit for sixth choice, then, and if, I'm just even thinking about it. If the ZF rumors are true, mm-hmm. ZF comes back to us. So that's even more <laughs> trouble for us. No, so for ZH me, one is off, by the way. Okay. So for me, look, mm. that's what I was saying last week. Off. If they want to give Chelsea a certain amount of money, Chelsea, Chelsea looking at what? Chelsea won 44 million, and they I have to think about it. So that's, that, that's a golfing. Uh, uh, see, for me, that's what I'm saying. If, if, if he gets to move, mm. I'll be happy. Because, look, we need him to be playing football by the time the World Cup comes around. And from now to the World Cup, yeah. if you look at the way Ajax are doing their things, it doesn't look like he plays any football. Well, let's sell and buy some players because some teams are making ground breaking moves. The Don Dawson is Don Kobe time.
Make that say, make that say. Let's go to time side because Newcastle really, really mean business. 60 million pounds for three, 63 actually. So, so they say, okay, so what I have here says 60 million plus add ons. So for Alexander Isak, 22 year old Swedish striker, plays yeah. for Real Sociedad. They didn't score a lot of goals last season. Scott, in, in his debut season, yes, on time, he was on time, on time, he was on time, 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 on so so it's so, so, so what I can tell you also is that it's it is it is very characteristic of a young striker. Like coach always says, performances will be undulated. Mm -hmm. Let's let's talk about him. I mean what, what does this signing mean for Newcastle? They've broken their club transfer record to get him. Especially when we off, off the back of a season where he supposedly didn't perform. Like, what are they seeing long term that the rest of Europe is not seeing? I mean, even if he's not finishing, he's not creating things. This someone is a very good dribbler. He can run with the ball. He can make things happen in the final third because he's a very skillful player. And because of his size, he can at least do a little bit in the air. And he's like six four, six five. Yeah, and we had this argument a few days ago, Daniel and I, who, who is faster, him or Callum Wilson, really? Mm. But that's how fast he is. This For guy, somebody who is that he's height, very, he's very quick. So that's crazy. You can think of him. I wouldn't say as a young only, but if you have an image of a striker who's the last time somebody was talked about was Luke Castanios. I don't, I, I don't know where Luke Castanios. <laughs> where's Luke? I, 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 I dare you to tell us where Luke Castanios is. He's falling off the football planet. I, I'm sure he's playing in the Dutch second division. Charlie, that would be that would be tragic. I'll, but I'll look, I'll finish for me. But look, so you can think of him as in that one, someone who's tall, elegant, but he gets the goals. Last season he struggled. Mm. He struggled. So he that also struggled, but he struggled. So last season he scored six goals. Yes. The previous season he scored seventeen goals. Mm. Check, yes. yes, he scored seven. seventeen check, goals. Check the season before, partner, how many goals? The he season scored? before he scored. Season, so the season now, before he scored nine goals. And then I think he spent some time at Villain two in the Red DVC. Then he scored thirteen goals. So he has a pretty. He's gone. He's gone into double digits twice. Yeah, no, I think he's a very solid striker, and he's he's on the. And he's coming to the most difficult league. <laughs> but at least they yeah. have the physical profile. Um, you know that's the thing about City players. You are, you are afraid for them that they come to play with the physicality overwhelming. But okay. because of his size and his pace, I don't think that's the issue. I think it's more him getting used to the tempo, and because he has good technique. He should be able to adjust after a while. I don't know how long it will take, but this look, I think it's going to be a very successful transfer. Forget about the fee. You are paying for someone that if he hits, hits the height you're expecting to reach, this is going to be a Champions League striker for the next 10 years. So it's a great transfer for Newcastle because I'm sure a lot of other clubs would have loved to get him. Mm -hmm. The fee was a bit high, but it's a very good transfer. And Newcastle have done some good business. I'm just a bit, and you know, Callum Wilson too. His fitness is up and down. Very, very suspect. So you think he, he becomes Newcastle's Callum main Wilson man? Wilson is injured as we speak. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, as we speak. <laughs> that is the primary reason why they went into the market. Callum Wilson is never oh, available, even Charlie. though he gets the, the only person who we should really keep an eye for is Chris Wood. I don't think he'll play a game this season. <laughs> Daniel, just quick thoughts on Isa. Was coming, he knew he wasn't coming. You, you seem to have a, a few. No, because he's a proper bowler. Yeah. He's a proper bowler, and you see, he's tall, but don't be. Don't, look, don't be on the illusion that he's one of those targets man hitting the ball to the floor. Yeah. Explosive pace yeah. on the ball. Skillful. Fantastic. Long, great, long, long, fantastic long distance player. shooting. I think that's Excellent something nobody talking about. He see, can shoot from like 35 yards. Good and you see, what I love about him is that his mobility. He's not going to be that number nine who will be sta standing there. If you watch the Man City mm -hmm. um, uh, Newcastle game, even when St. Maxima drifts into the middle, Callum Wilson is still there. He's a bit static. Mm -hmm. This guy can switch positions. Yeah. Even if um, Callum Wilson comes, he can play out wide. He can play as a winner. Isaac can play out wide. You have your Sim Maxima out left. You have your Callum Wilson. Look, it's the, it's the perfect front three that any manager would dream of. Even in the absence of Callum Wilson. Mm. Because you have your Almiron who can cut in. You have your Isaac in the middle. You have it. These are the sort of things that managers want. Young, explosive. He's a good player. Look, excellent player. He's a very, very and he fits perfectly into what Newcastle are doing. Look, I, I, I like 
striking. Don't call me the moment. Yeah. Yeah, buying a young player. Yeah. I when, think he, I think he's he worth every dance. Right? He was one of the best. Uh, he was rated as one of one of the most promising youngsters. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't. As, as for as for the fee, yeah. I think there is nothing wrong. I with think he's worth every dance. Chelsea are chasing the God at Everton. God, I got pay sixty million. Men in the system, nigga player, the men in I just want to see. That's a full point. My United is building ninety million for Anthony. He's a Brazilian international. He's a Brazilian international. If he goes to the test team, he starts. Oh, no, you are. He starts. 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 Are you kidding me right now? Okay, no, let's on. let's agree ah, to this agreement. Ra- ra- no, but let's Rafinha, what me 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 the FA, right? Yeah, he, he Rafinha was, is a is a he was in Leeds and he's no, fighting. I thought his biggest stage is the every DVC. Ah, he took why did he he is bred in the Champions League for, uh, group stages and dominated teams like Bayern Munich and Co. Dortmund and Co. He told us that this is no achievement. Okay. What are you talking about? Rafinha is a Champions League. Rafinha is a Champions League. He will go for a Champions League. He will go for a Champions League. He will go for a Champions League. Daniel, in fact, let's, 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 I'm, I'm coming to you and Anthony. No, I'm not smoking on the... Please, let me speak. Please, no, no, let's, 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 let him have his talk. Last season, Rafinha has started for Anthony has started two. So he's a starter of Brazil. He starts with Brazil. He starts No, he starts. He starts. He's a potential Look, starter. The two of them. Let, let they share the potential starter. Men never try you. Men never try you. No, but why are you bringing the last thing? Bring the last thing. Bring the last thing. Forget about he doesn't play. Bring your point. Bring your point. We should talk about Anthony. Talk about Look, him. The talk people about are, I, I, I think that is. I'm surprised I, I Van der is, is behaving the way he's behaving. Van der Sar, he called him back. No more Akavanda Sarwe, any yo, Netakwa, Kofo, no Tabanda Sar, Eko Duba. You should be very, very careful. Van Kanti, you better call Banda Sar and talk to him. What sort of life is this? What sort of behavior is this? Why is he behaving like that? I'm sure Van der Sar is shocked that United is desperate to pay So he should take the money. Anthony. He should take the money. He doesn't want his old club to be fleeced. No, look. He doesn't no, want his club he, to be swindled. No, but look, let me tell you something. It is not for him to decide whether we are being swindled or not. Meaning, let's call him on him. Let's call him on him. What we play on The boy belongs to us. He's our player. Ah, the boy belongs to you. Ah, but are you not aware? <laughs> the boy Anthony, you see, when I sat here and I said, J.D. Sancho, he belongs to United. Dortmund, Ate, Abba, Cheke, Haaland. I told you because of the Rocky and his father issue. That's why he didn't come. He said it after he went to see. No, but that was the only problem because Ross King broke the father's leg. So we are waiting for the problem, Anthony's problem to end. You see, Anthony uh, 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 is our player. 90 million. No more player. I'm shocked. Now, we are reading so many things on on Twitter. The boy has just granted an interview. Very explosive interview. So what are they doing? After this, he said, he said he's told them since February. That he's going to you know he's, he, he's not telling them to release him he <laughs> says sell me take the money Coach, let me call you, i'm coming you let me, you finish, let me oh, no. <laughs> the boy tells them that look in the history of the what do you call that dutch name every division every division every division <laughs> two, i'm a chairman now uh, uh, dutch league the boy has told you that how can you turn down a 90 million euros in the history of that league, have they been sold any player for 50 million before? Mm. I think this would be an Eredivisie record. It's okay. a record! 90 million would be a record in nearly every Yeah. Record. That would be what about sort of 90, life is this? That would be 85 million, and I'm 87 sure million pounds. It is Van der Sar. Van der Sar who is misbehaving like this. I'm shocked. I accept the game. Look, and whether they like it or not. Hey! I'm coming! No me, I'm winning. Whether they like it or For not. For my here. I'm telling you honestly. With Vigo and Vim, whether they like it or not, we will play on it. The player belongs to United. <laughs> he telling this man, I haven't seen so many game owners. And the way the boy, like this no, well, look, 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 look. You see why they are not being fair to the boy? Mm-hmm. You, you have a team mm-hmm. of brilliant players. Mm-hmm. By far, he's he, the crown he, he was, he's your best player. Yeah. And you've sold all 
what they call meninis. He wasn't their best player. Oh, I said by far. Maybe they voted the defender. He wasn't their best player. Who was their best player? He wasn't their best player. Who was voted there? Then Lotaro Martinez. Martinez would be ahead. Let's, let's, say, say, let's say their most highly rated player. player. Uh, who? Even he's not even their most highly rated attacking player. No, I'm a whole lemon. So let's say you sold all the best players. Why are you keeping him? Is it by force? Common sense. Let's apply common sense. Why did no one come for him earlier if he was so good? Ah. Honestly speaking. No, you know, but do you, you know, tell you me know. when somebody comes for him? No, but no, to be honest, I, 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 I think that's a good point to see. No, but how many Before seasons has he played? played? I haven't heard okay. anybody being this obsessed with Anthony. No, but how many seasons has he played for Ajax? Only two seasons. Yeah. He's not announced his presence. No, you have a point. He's not announced his presence. And he said, my dream. My dream is to play at Old Trafford. These are the things the boy is saying, right? Uh, I mean, go, go, he just said he wants to leave. He didn't say where. Oh, like, oh, I can show you. I, I Daniel, follow all the tweets. Follow all the tweets. I read it. No, no, finish, finish. A cuckoo boy, G. When I cast a cock, a cuckoo boy, no more. Cuckoo boy, come on, man. In, in a nutshell. In a nutshell. Oh, it's a late for a cuckoo boy. No more. In summary, a cuckoo boy, G. Walk a leg be no more. Hey. Hmm. Anytime I say walk around to me, then I can't say walk a little bit. Because you've been saying the same thing about the young, and he has still not arrived. As they have still not been asked. As the transfer window closed. As for the young thing. As the transfer window closed. They can't see it. As the transfer window been closed. It has not. Let me tell you. Before we came on, I know of players. I showed you something. I also showed you something. I showed you. I also showed you something. You showed me. I showed you. I also showed you something. What is your problem? You showed me. I showed you. So we are showing ourselves. No more walk a leg be no more. Uh, Frankie De Jong, we are hearing that. Mm -hmm. Are we still talking about Frankie? Oh no, of course. We are hearing that he wants to reduce his pay. To he stay says he wants that. to stay. He says he wants to reduce his pay. What I have said. When I speak, people don't listen. In care walk a leg be no more. But unless there is no movement, if there's going to be a movement, I want the blue half. Of London to come and let go and challenge who by the left. Let me let me get Daniel's thoughts on this whole Anthony. Ah, what can I be no more? This 90 million United is trying to is begging to be robbed of. If they do, we'll Honey. give them 120 million. I'm telling them. Just because there's cash. Ah. No more. <laughs> oh, change you walk. Change. There's make, cash. Make your point. <laughs> Look, Charlie. You see. Anthony for 19 million. Rejected bid. What player? I, I love this. Anthony. He believes in his ability to translate to the yeah. Premier League. A bad J J man, rough, rough. Hey, me, when I told you, J D Santo, a bad kudo in me, a bad bad Fiji in me, a bad go way. But I don't even find that my feel. A big bitch in left, right, center. Eventually, it will happen, and I feel like he's he's a sort of player that my United is. Honestly, if, if Greenwood was still around, I don't think United would have been chasing after him. Mm. But United don't have that a player of his. Greenwood, he could have had. It's very important. <laughs> but oh, in yeah. the absence of Anthony, oh, there's another there's another player my United is chasing in Kudu Gakpo. Look, I'm Gakpo by all of all Gakpo. I'm praying look. United Zero is leaving. So Gakpo is going to If, if United get Gakpo, do they give up Anthony? At all. No, at all. At all. And that's my problem my United. No, no, at all. I said mm. it at the beginning. That whether or not Ronaldo leaves. Somebody get to get a forward. No, if if Ronaldo stays, you can't spend all the money like that. It's not about Ronaldo stays. The fact is, if you do your 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 postseason analysis of my United team last season, which is very important for anybody who's coming into the into the gym, any game that United started without Ronaldo, United failed to win. And I said that it wasn't because it wasn't because of the lack of. Cristiano against Ronaldo. Liverpool, it was because of the lack of depth. Mm. When Ronaldo was not there, Cavani was constantly injured. So the likes of Elanga and Co had to come and play, and that is not quality. Yeah. So you need to go in and beef in that department of, 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 of those guys. Martial came back because yes, we know Martial second half of the season he was in Sevilla. Martial injury prone. He's As we injured. speak, he's injured. He's injured again. Ah, yeah. so, no, he's, no, he's finished though. Achilles injury, yeah, he's finished. And I don't, I, I don't get why United has waited until this point of the window and now they are flashing 90 million. At Anthony. At Anthony. Right? It's desperation United time now. know that There's Anthony cash. is not worth 90 million. There's cash. There's cash. Somebody who's won eight goals in the Eredivisie. I 
as a winger. Ajax. As a winger. Ajax. As a winger. Exactly. You know, hold on, hold on, coach. As a let, winger. Let me just be specific, Daniel. What problem exactly does Anthony solve for United? He's ah. a creator. He's a creator from the right. It's, right. Not, it's not necessary. Yeah, yeah. Let me land. Let him land. Oh, let him land. Let, you can me have land. let him land. It's not necessary. You see, when, I, when people say creator, people with the numbers people, and I don't like that, then they'll go to numbers. How many assists? Creating is not necessarily assist only. You are because that's, that's, that's true. I agree. With that. You can dribble and pass, pass the ball. Oh, if you look at somebody like back. Van de Beek and you watch his during his time at Ajax, there were goals he created without touching the ball. Ozil does that. In, he used to do that in the Premier League. You can create yeah. the chance even without, without even the actually being your intelligent so. movement, your ability to pick the ball, your dribbling ability. Go past one, two players, pass it. Then somebody will pass it to another person before you go. If you go to the court, that's why people even bring pre assist. Do you understand? There are players like that. And Anthony is that sort of player. He is he's a kind of guy who can draw two, three defenders what? to himself, mm-hmm. beat them, create that space, mm-hmm. give it to somebody else for the person to do the business. And United doesn't have a player like that, especially with the left foot on the right hand side. So it makes it very <laughs> difficult when United are creating chances from that from that particular uh, uh, side of the field. Yeah. That's why I think United needs him. Mm. In terms of the raw numbers, yes, he needs to improve. Yeah. But he's a young player. He has his whole career. Yeah. Two years. He's, 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 he's bound to improve. But look, I'm stressing on the Gapo thing because it's so important. If United is not play getting... <laughs> That's where you've reached now. United still needs <laughs> Gapo. What player do you back up? <laughs> Good, yeah, Good, let's not do this. You can't oh, have a player. who's always injured. Rashford who decides to play when, he's, when he feels like. Elanga who... <laughs> Is today is Friday. When I'm a Christian Ronaldo looks like he's leaving. Twenty six. You need to sign. It's today twenty six. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. Thirty. Thirty one. United needs to sign. Thirty one. Six days more. Obana show way. And you see, lastly before I finish. Yeah. Charlie, when people listen, do you understand? They listen because of something. Four months. The news is out there. Coach, stop this. Ah, what is your problem? He's not coming. You say, I the say, look, day. me too, I know the no. source of my information. No, okay, you know. Know. He's coming. You showed me something. I also showed you my own. You don't want me to accept that. You want me to accept your own. You said last two weeks, Sunday, you come. You, come. <laughs> you said you are giving him seven days. The seven days has elapsed. He has still not come. We are waiting. Wait. Uh, if he doesn't come after on the first, yeah. you have a case. <laughs> then until that... He can even come. And you see, to be fair to coach, he can to, be fair, come. to be fair to coach, transfers are very unpredictable. He can come in a, lot, a lot can change in a short time. A lot can change. But until then. So we should expect Anthony and Frankie de Jong. Can't go. Can't go. It's exactly your player now. Let our player change. You see. Let's not do this. When the Gakko became your player. Didn't you listen to Vanisara talking about the matter? Didn't you listen to Vanisara? And then people will be texting me. No, but didn't you listen to Vanisara? And then people will be texting me and people will say that. Ah! Go to the player. Why is the player? Why is the player? I ran into somebody somewhere. The question was, I'm going to give you your number. So that they start calling you themselves. I know what this is going to be. Anybody who doubts that you call me. Oh, Lord. They should call me coach. Look. He said we'll come home. They will come home. How many players have like I said will come home? Fernandez did come home. Chill well. Madison. Chill well. well. Let me go and listen to the guy. Sancho. You see, I'm a new guy. In case chill well, then let the army bull up. Blabe. As I when we come, we didn't go call. Did we go? We didn't no. go. No. If we are gone, you didn't chill well. If we are gone, like Chelsea went, who will win the player? We'll show him the cash. And you come home. Oh, Susan, make your point. Make your point. To be point. honest, I don't know if United need Anthony. I have to be very honest. Let him make it. 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 Let him make it.
take points for a winger who's more like Salah or Son. Do you understand? Like a winger who ran in behind. Or mm-hmm. like, yeah, that kind of winger. You know, maybe that's what I'm thinking. A more a, direct a, winger. A, mo- a better alternative. So you have Sancho yeah, on one side and that. Yeah, Gabo could be an example. Gabo. But that's my whole point. That Gabo should be more of a priority for United yes, than Anthony. That's so far. No All of us here, yeah. we are not Ten Hag. Ten Hag says Anthony is party number one. I think we'll bring the show to a close here. No more, I have a shout out to give, please. So, I beg you. Please, do, do that for me. Do that for me. Look, uh, to Mrs. Mm. Leticia mm. Kunedu Kwashi. Mm. Oh, it's like a beautiful name. Oh, Mrs. Leticia, Mrs. Leticia oh. Kunedu mm. Kwashi. Mm. No more. Oh, Charlie. During the week.